Look me in the eyes, tell me what you see. Perfect paradise, tearing at the seams. I wish I could escape it, but I don't wanna fake it. I wish I could erase it, make your heart believe, but I'm a bad liar. Bad liar. Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. So today I have sub stop sub stop sub stop not subway not to be confused with subway though the food is pretty much very much the same so this is local sub stop and i have a kinza cola from saudi arabia and this is kuwait brand of chips we have tomato ketchup how many calories uh 131 calories for this bag this i don't know i don't care i care but you know what i mean this is my breakfast slash lunch I'm just, I'm so tired today, so it's like a PJ day. I love these PJs. Um, oh my gosh. I'm experimenting. I got a tuna, 12-inch tuna. Oh, that's a huge chunk of onion. I can't do it. Bismillah. I wanted to try onions on my tuna, but I'm chickening out a bit. Like, they don't have to put so many huge chunks. You know what I mean? Anyway, growing up, I used to hate onions. I used to pretend I was, like, allergic, kind of. Like, just so they wouldn't forget not to put onions, like... I kind of was like allergic because it would make me gross out but um now i'm gonna try so i have a tuna on italian bread with like tomato lettuce it's just like fully loaded mixed cheese southwest sauce um mayo salt pepper um pickles lettuce let's say lettuce tomato let's go yellow beauty bite mm, it's not toasted the bread is soft yeah. and that's good with all those veggies Usually I just don't get as many veggies, especially not tomato. There's something about tomato and tuna that like gives me the ick, but now I love it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know the story of Substop, like how they away with like transforming the franchise. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, my pajamas. <laughs> it's just one of them days, you know? You me lunch. Oh, there's an onion coming. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Here it goes. It's not bad. Quite nice. Quite nice, actually. Man. Man, I usually get the Parmesan oregano bread, but... Mmm, bread. I'm a bread sniffer. Oh. I sniff the bread. Remember people, like, there was this huge, like, controversy where people were claiming that Subway... Subway's had some crazy rumors, like, their bread is, like, made up of, like, 65% yoga mats. <laughs> yeah, they, like, tested the bread and found that there was, like, gym mats in it or something. My brain would go back to those stupid mats with the Velcro in gym class. Another reason to hate gym. Another rumor is that the tuna wasn't tuna. I remember like some news reporter or someone went like to a subway and there's just like this like kid working there who could give a crap less about what's in the tuna. They're like, can we go back in, in, in the back and see uh, the can of tuna that's used? And the kid looking confused and goes back there and is like, it's a can, giant can of tuna. Like sure enough, it says like ingredients, tuna and like water or something like that. I don't know. What else would it be? Maybe some kind of other fish? Who cares? Kind of like imitation crab? Their tuna tastes like every other can of tuna I've ever eaten. <laughs> All tuna tastes the same to me. There's like chunk light tuna and water, skipjack tuna and sunflower oil. I don't even care. Flake light tuna and corn oil. I just buy whatever, whatever's on sale. If it tastes good, that's all that matters. People outrage over like, remember the McDonald's chicken nuggets factory? I don't know if it was like on an episode of how it's made, but, or if it was just like a random video, but it was like, People were like grossed out because they saw that chicken nuggets were made with like a pink sludge, which was the chicken meat. But if you take a chicken breast, okay, jalapenos are nice. If you try to make your own chicken nuggets and you put a chicken breast in the food processor, it's gonna look like pink sludge. Mm. New gym mats were so delicious. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So it's just like tuna they mix with mayo. I think. What are you guys doing with your Saturday? Are you having a pajama day? <laughs> we woke up today and looked at each other. And we're both like. <laughs> We gonna go out today? Nah, let's get in PJs and uh, order out for today. <laughs> order lunch and pickles. Subway has good pickles. Sub stop. <laughs> but their food tastes exactly the same. No, no, it's good. Cheese. So I finished watching that series from the first season. I wanna watch the second season, eating the crumbs. I'm trying to find another series that's really good. Has anyone seen the series Dark? Is it good? I've seen Stranger Things. I'm looking for something creepy. I've seen Haunting of Hill House, The Bly Manor. I haven't seen um, Fall of the House of Usher. 
I don't know if that's good or not. I like the story. I had to wear Alan Poe. I tried watching Midnight Mass, but I just can't get into it. It's really hard for me to get into anything these days. I want to start reading, but I used to be like up to date on most Stephen King stories that came out. But like, I, I want, he's so prolific. Like how many stories has he come out with since my I've, the last one I've known? Like, I think the last one I knew of was like Mr. Mercedes. Dr. Sleep come out before or after that. That was a good movie. I love how they use the original like soundtrack throughout because Kubrick's The Shining had the best eerie soundtrack. And that's what Stephen King doesn't seem to get when he didn't like um, Kubrick's version, reimagining of it. It's like your made for TV one is worse. There's no like creepy, there's nothing notable or like memorable about it. You know? But he didn't like Kubrick's version, I'll never know. I heard that he didn't like how Kubrick made Jack Torrance main character pretty much a villain right from the beginning and you know the made for tv one made him made it more see made it seem more like the place possessed jack here's the thing that's the whole po that's the whole thing like that's the whole point the fact that jack was already he was the perfect victim for possession from the, the overlook hotel because he already had that broken character which allowed the evil in you know what I mean? He, he King even wrote that in his on writing book uh, when he was talking about haunted houses. You know, he said haunted houses are like batteries. They're a psychic vehicle. They're batteries. People who are already open and vulnerable to possession because of their their mental health uh, issues or their their dark past stuff like that. Just like um, just like the haunting of Hill House. You had the main character who arrived there and was the perfect victim because of her mental state. Same thing with Jock Torrance, you know? I, I was bored with the made for TV. I couldn't even watch it. It was so boring. The book was good. I actually liked Kubrick's story more. <laughs> I ever wonder if Stephen King deep down knew that Kubrick's story was a bit better than his. He, that's why he didn't like it. Anyway, yeah. All right, that's it. Breakfast and lunch in one. <laughs> and now I have this huge bottle of water that I'm going to finish and throw the next maybe two hours. Just enjoy the day. I'm not ashamed to admit I enjoy these days. Jamma party days. <laughs> yes. It's actually cold in here. I do it on purpose though. I love being cold. I put the AC, you hear it clicking? <laughs> I put the central air on like. 17 and I just love being cozy in like warm pajamas or blankets. We have crisp fresh new sheets on the bed right now. I did all the laundry. We don't have really any housework to do right now. Maybe rearrange those pillows. So yeah, it's these little moments I I, <clears throat> I appreciate, you know? Yeah, these little moments of like comfort, happiness, you know? And I'm just gonna uh, enjoy the day with my husband and my cats and Howie. He was so excited. I gotta film him. Okay, we'll do a Howie extravaganza one day, one of these days. <laughs> He's so happy when I bring him his cucumbers. Anyway, all right, guys, so thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Enjoy your weekend!